Good afternoon and welcome to another episode of Out in the Hamptons. I'm your host, Michael Jeffries, and it's an honor to bring back uh, our guest, Angel Santa Marina, who is a spiritual healer. He was a guest last year, and he last year wrote a book and published a book, I See Better With My Eyes Closed. Here it is. Let's welcome Mr. Angel Santa Marina. How are you? Very well, Michael. Thank you. A pleasure to be here. Great to have you back. Uh, it's been a whole year since your book has been out to the world, and I hear it's getting great feedback, and it's really reaching a lot of people. It's reaching a lot of people. You know what I'm doing also with the book? I'm giving it away. Give, can't get better than that. If you want a book, where can people contact you? Uh, at my telephone number, 631-353-8066. Send me a message, uh, and we'll find a way to, to get your book or a healing. If you want a healing, you can also call me at that number. Yeah. So send fo- me a message. Absolutely. Folks, you may not know this, but we'll, we'll refresh your memory. Uh, Angel San Marino is a spiritual healer. Uh, he's worked with thousands of um, clients, people, people that needed some sort of connection and help. Let's get into it. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, uh, I, it started like 30 years ago after my wife had a, um, a, an operation, a cancer operation. I was, she started working with a healer. And one day after a seminar, I discovered I had this gift that I could see things to people, from people, and, and see how to solve their problems and so forth. So, so that made me a healer. I mean, I, it just works through me. It's not me. It works through me. And I've done over 3,000 healings, and, and, and now I have an Instagram account that somebody started for me, and, and I just see people from all over the world. In the book, uh, touching upon that, um, you can see uh, beings of light, which uh, other people may call angels, uh, per se. Can you do- dive into that a little bit? Like, what does it look like to you? I don't call them <laughs> angels, and I say this. Because they don't have wings. Okay. They have their their forms. I mean, of light that they don't have a particular form. And I think somebody in the Middle Ages, uh, probably an Italian painter, yeah. put wings on them, and everybody said, "What a good idea!" <laughs> so you're tapping in as your gift into a, an ancient form of connection uh, with seeing beings of light, like beings. literally like a light form, do you see? They are light forms and they are, each one of us has one. Oh, interesting. Which is what the Catholic Church or some churches call the guardian angel. Okay. Yeah. And what does the guardian angel do? It protects the soul. It takes the soul when we die mm-hmm. in the journey of the soul. And so, but I've seen many times how the souls sort of move or lift a little bit when the person is going to die and then the beings of light just take the soul on the journey of the soul fascinating so um, yeah and and then it's it's beautiful because we all have one the only thing is we don't connect to them and we should connect hence the title of the book i i see better with my eyes closed metaphorically speaking you don't do you literally close your eyes? When I do any healing or I connect, I close my eyes because the eyes distract. Yeah. And so I just close my eyes, connect, connect in a second, and then the images come and the whole thing comes and starts and so forth. When you are shaving in the mirror and you close your eyes, can you see your own spirit? No, of light? no, no, no. You can't? I only use it, Michael, to help people. Oh, yeah. oh I okay. only use it to help people. Yeah. I, I, I never use. I've, I've done healings on myself. If I have a sore throat, I send light to the throat, spiritual light to help it and so forth. But I never use it for other. Interesting, you you can't see your own guardian angel per se because maybe it's not not meant to be that it's way. Not, I don't even try. Oh, okay. And it's not that I see a, an angel or, or a being of light on every person because sometimes we don't need to. In the healing, oh, interesting. the healing is about something else. So, so the healing is very particular. It goes to the intimate situations of each person, and maybe that's not the moment of, to see the guardian angel. Yeah, uh, it's just something else. Do you have to be in a state of mind for to activate the vision? No, it just it's a click, a click, and and it just happens. In, in I connect in one second or two seconds. Interesting. I ask God. Um, help me help this person and click it connects and it really takes over it really takes wow. over i mean can i be so bold where do you think my 
angel is? Is it like by that it's disco normally, light? No, it's normally <laughs> you have <laughs> right my God, you have your you, <laughs> your soul, and your angel. So kind of there already. Yeah, right there. And that's why to connect with the angel is not that complicated because it's right here. Oh, good. I would like to shake your hands. <laughs> Thank you. No, I, I get what you're saying because sometimes you, if you have the depth to your feelings, you can you do get a sense there's something bigger than just the physical and the visual, you know. And you don't know how many people are unhappy. They could have money and families and everything, mm -hmm. and they are, there's something wrong, and because they don't connect with their soul, and they so the soul is here for a purpose. In this incarnation, yeah. So, so there has something. There has to be a connection, so that. The, and, and you so helped your your wife, Mrs. Santa Marina, in her recovery. I, I did. I, I, but as I always say, as a healer, if somebody has an operation, the surgeon works, the chemotherapy guy works, the doctor works, the healer works, the family prays. At the end, if the person is saved, who saved him? Nobody can say I saved him. Not one person. Not one person. Yeah. It's just God. God said, give, give this person another time to die or whatever, to, to survive. And so nobody can say, I did it. Mm -hmm. I can say, I worked at it, so did the surgeon, but that's it. Yeah. I mean, it's a really brave move for, for you. You're, a bit, you know, you're working in business, a businessman, um, to kind of like steer to a whole different... Well, I was, at, I was at Wall Street for, I don't even know, 20, 25 years, whatever it was. And, but one day when I got this gift, I slowly, it slowly transformed my life. Not all, no, all, all at once. Not all at once, but it was just slowly, because at the beginning it was very complicated to understand it and to see how you could use it and so forth. And, but, but as it took over, it, it just, but 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 I have a regular life. I, I can do whatever. I can yeah. I can. The only thing I don't do is I never mix alcohol with healing. Oh, that might but, get sloppy. Yeah. So, but <laughs> but, but, but might, or might not. But I never do that. But for example, I could be walking or or whatever, playing golf, or whatever, yeah. and then do a healing an hour later, and 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 so forth. I still have a life. I, was, I, yeah. I still have to go to the supermarket. I still have right. to do things, but it's it. I think it's also that's the reason I was given the gift because I can adapt it to my regular life. Right? Do you, do you ever get overwhelmed by a pending healing? Like something wants you to no, activate, I, it, or does it, it work I, the other when way? When you do so many, yeah, it's just I know how to do it. I, it. The healings are not for me; they're for the people. So I don't even. I only remember some healings that are very profound. Others just, just they're for the people. Oh, interesting. Can you give us an example of a... Well, if there's, if there's, for example, a healing where a spiritual being comes, mm -hmm. like for example, I had years ago this beautiful healing of this woman that was very sad. She worked at a store. The owner said, can you help her? And I tried and I saw the, uh, an image of a mother and a baby and then the mother disappears and then I saw some a dark road and she said well my mother died when I was a, a baby and I miss her enormously and at that moment a beautiful being came to my left over here and I said who are you and she said I am the mother of all mothers and when to give her a hug, a beautiful hug. It was a phrase that I've never heard before, the mother of all mothers. Was it her mother or was no, it something No, it was the bigger? mother of all mothers. Oh. Of all mothers. The, the energy of mothers. The energy of the mother. Yeah. And so that's, I'll never forget because it was beautiful. It was just, it was a spiritual being. What, what did it look like? Was it just an energy? Or? An no, it was an image. It was. It had an image of a mother. Oh, okay. It like a feminine? Image of a feminine image yeah. of, a, of a mother. But at the time, I don't. I didn't get into the details. Yeah. I just asked. Like I've asked similar situations when similar situations happen. Who are you? And at the time, I did a healing and 
three beings appear and say, where are you from? Assyria, Sumeria, Mesopotamia. They were coming to, for this healing because the person in a previous life, maybe 5,000 years ago, was somebody very spiritual. So, so the, those, those healings are, are, are just so beautiful. How did your, your um, client, how did she respond to that information? Or what did it, it help? It depends on, on, on each case. I mean, the, the, the woman was, I, I know that she, she was much more peace after the, the mother of all mothers. It's a healing. It cures that sadness. Yeah that she had. It helps. I'm glad it did. Yes. That, yeah. Yeah. And that happens not, not all the time, but, but in every healing, there's something, I mean, in, in my Instagram, I have so many testi beautiful testimonies of people just thanking me or saying how beautiful it is in the Instagram comments all the time, how beautiful mm -hmm. things are. So it's, it's very rewarding. To, to, to for me to 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 do this yeah well I can tell yeah yeah I mean you wrote uh, I mean, not financially good. because it's not you make money with this mm -hmm. I, I I don't have a fee to charge people people yeah. pay me whatever they can because I see people from many different backgrounds right different um, and, I would, never, and I would never say no to a healing because of money yeah how many folks are you helping these days well I'm doing I, I don't know, some days I do seven, six wow. healings, five days, five healings. It depends. Yeah. It just depends on every day. Do you, do you have a, a favorite space to do the healings in? Is there like a... Now I do them at home. I, yeah. I mean, because of the inter, of the Instagram, it's just all this, it's in Spanish, my Instagram. Yeah. Because it was started by people that wanted me to expand my message. Yeah. So Your home Spain. country is Spain. Is it Sorry? Spain? Are you originally from Spain? I'm from Argentina. Argentina, yes. Yeah, Argentina. Yeah. So, so, um, so, I'll, ninety percent of them are today um, through uh, video. Video. Oh, interesting. You can still engage through. Oh yes, of course. The internet and visual. It's, it's, it's yeah. um, it doesn't have to what's, be in person. WhatsApp video. Yeah. It's fantastic. It's like a phone call. Yeah. And the person is there. It really took over me after in COVID because you're in COVID. In COVID, right. COVID really all that technology took over and people got used to it. And Were you then, nervous and then I at said, first? <laughs> uh, how, how, uh, what? Is the spirit that guides us healings is not going to be able to do it through video? Of course he does. Were you confident right away or were you like kind of experimenting with Mrs. No, at the beginning it was <laughs> the first ones were probably I wasn't sure but yeah. then it worked. So, so Awesome. Now so. you can reach a lot more people. That's what I'm saying. I, it's yeah. my, 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 I reach, people call me and, and uh, at the beginning it was crazy with this Instagram. Now I'm organized, much better organized yeah. and, and, and it works very well. So I have a, my, my book, my agenda, and I have times. Yeah. I keep times for myself also because if not, it takes over. Oh, I bet. Yeah. It takes over. So the best place to, if folks feel like they really need some help is, uh, is your phone number or the Instagram account? Well, how do you get well, your message? Well, my Instagram is, is, is Angel uh, underscore Santa Marina. Mm -hmm. And the phone number is the one I just gave you. Yeah. You send me a message and I answer and I look. You have to tell me the, your availability of time and dates and, and so forth. And you'll work it out. And I'll work it out. I'll put you in my book and awesome. maybe it's in a week from now or three days or depending on openings. And, and that's how it Your works. schedule's going to blow up after this episode. <laughs> Folks, you heard it right here from Santa Marina is here to help you yeah. if you need it, which is a beautiful and, and, thing. And, Who, and it's a, where do you get it's that? It's spiritual. Yeah. It's, I don't need to know people. And I tell people, you don't need to tell me anything about you. Because if you tell me something, yeah, and I repeat it to you, you say, well, but that's what I told him. But if without even knowing you, I tell you things that are very important, profound in your life. Right, right. Then if you have to change things, and a lot of people have to change patterns of life, if you have to change it has much more of an impact. And people come to me and say, three years ago you did the healing and I'm still working on it. That means it impacted their lives. Mm -hmm. And so people, if, if you tell me something, you say, oh, well, but I, I tell, he's telling me what I told him. So I prefer you not to tell me anything, you or, or anybody. Yeah. 
and, and, and it works like that because the spirit knows. And you know what, Michael? It is never wrong. And I trust it 100%, not 99%, Yeah, 100%. I mean, I believe you, but you don't have to do this. You're a successful yeah. you know, business uh, man. And uh, obviously you can tell that you've definitely, it's uh, something that um, you're very passionate about and, and trust. And um, uh, the gift is something you're sharing with whoever, yes. you know, can contact you and needs is usually folks that are, would you say are, um, have a physical ailment of sorts? It's everybody. It's just, it, now it's people that are searching for spirituality. Oh, interesting. Uh, people that have problems, sickness yeah. or whatever. People that are confused. There's not a, do uh, you know the interesting thing? 90% are women. 90? 90% 90 are women. Why do you think that is? I think it's because women are more open. Yeah. Men try to control their feelings, don't share them. Yeah. Women are more open. 90% are women. Those are what the people that do the Instagram say. Yeah. Uh, people that... Uh, it it might be harder for men to uh, kind of wrap their mind around the, the closing yeah, your eyes. I think it, it, I think it is. I don't have... It's I don't know cultural, why. Culturally. I know. think it's culturally. Uh, I, I really don't know. There are... I mean, it's not zero. But it's, yeah, 10, it's 10, 10%. Could be 12, whatever. Yeah. Lately, there are more men that are contacting me for whatever reason. Maybe it'll go up after this episode. 50-50. Who, 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 yeah. who knows? 60-40, <laughs> you'll take it. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> no, but it's, it's, it, it's... This is worldwide. Yeah. You can reach <laughs> anywhere in the world. Um, I mean, I have people from Spain, Italy, Finland. I mean, anybody who speaks the United States, obviously, yeah. Argentina, Brazil, not Brazil, but... but uh, Where are the most folks coming in from? I said, said mostly are women, and a lot of are from, from Argentina. Oh, yeah. Well, that makes sense. It, yeah. it, the, the reason Argentines have... Uh, first, they're going through a very hard time, uh, economically and politically and such. But I think if you go to... A church in Argentina is full of people on a Sunday. Yes. And I think that mm -hmm. makes people more spiritual. Yeah. And they're more searching, tuned. more in tune, they're yeah. searching. I mean, you here, you go to a church in East Hampton, you go to the Latino Mass, and it's packed. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? And I you go to the American Mass, it's certainly not packed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, what's going on, folks? Yeah, they're definitely South Americans. Um, it's just a cultural thing. It's they're more spiritual, yeah. um, and uh, that's good because I feel like maybe that would um, you more of a soundboard for for being in, in tune with uh, connecting with your beings of light around you because you're op already open to the spiritual. The the, spiritual. The, yes, if, if 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 they're more open, it it seems to be easier. Yeah, uh, it makes sense to me. It it, it it does. It does. I mean, as I said, it's not that Americans don't call me. Of course, of yeah. course not. But but. The numbers are overwhelmingly. Uh, yeah. Um, well, you know, in our society, uh, you know, we're bombarded day in and day day out with a lot of negative, um, negative things, negative energies, and uh, um, you would think that everyone needs a little healing, you know, because there's so much negativity in the world. There, there is, and 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 as I said, people say, "Well, but if I don't have anything wrong with me, still worth it." I mean, it's it's. It will open things that you have no idea will open. Yeah, it will, it will go deep inside you. Things that that affect you deeply, that you are learn how to live with it because they've been there for forever. Yeah, it sounds like it would activate a healing process. Uh, yes, and, uh, and it would connect you with your soul. It will connect you with the spirits. It will. Yeah, it will it kind of align you with the way things yeah, you are meant can't to be. be. If you're totally on the material world. Mm -hmm. There's something missing. If you're totally in the spiritual world, there's something missing. So you need to have a balance. Gotcha. You need to have some spirituality and the rationale of every single day. Yeah, it's like a chiropractor. You need a spiritual balance. <laughs> <laughs> you need a spiritual balance. And, 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 spiritual uh, chiropractor. <laughs> and, and I tell you, because people, if they if they have everything and everything, whatever, if they don't have any spirituality, there's something missing. Yeah. And well, I think the negativity something. can get overwhelming. It just kind of like pours into you and you kind of saturate it. it and it's like, Michael, yeah. it's like if you are carrying a 50 pound backpack in your life every single day. Of, of darkness. It, it, it affects you. Yeah. 
Yeah. And we go, Michael, he was such a nice guy, so, so, so open, so smiling. Yeah, I used to be nice, and I'm a grumpy old man now, folks. No, <laughs> no. But now when you carry that backpack, huge, your personality changes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you become more grumpy, as you say, or you yeah. become more sad, or... or Just a and negative... You, and, and you go to the doctor, vibe. what's the doctor yeah. going to say? Oh, well, Michael, you're a little depressed. Why don't I give you this, <laughs> this antidepressant or whatever? Yeah. yeah. And then, you know, that opens up a can of worms right there. Open the can of worms. And yeah. in reality, is that you don't have a spiritual life. Well, you're not in tune to, to or it. Or you're not in tune It's to there, it. as you say, it's around it's there, us. but you yeah. have to, you have to kind be of in tune like, to it. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. And then the whole thing opens up. Beautiful, beautiful situations. I mean, would you, are you allowed to talk to your spiritual lights around you? Or? Of course, you have to talk to them. Like, like use your voice? And people tell me, I, I meditate. I said, meditate is fantastic. You do, you calm your, your stress. They give you a mantra, super. But that's not connecting to your spiritual being, yeah. to spiritual light. What might be a, uh, uh, an example of talking to you your... Go to a quiet place. Yeah. Under a tree, beach, somewhere. Close your eyes and connect. Ask questions. Connect. Yeah. Michael. We are spiritual beings. Right. We're not a rock. We're spiritual beings. We have a soul. We have a spiritual a yeah. being of light right there. Right. We have to connect. If we don't connect, it's just... I mean, I've read in history, people do use like big majestic trees as a spiritual, you know, rod. I mean, it's, it's, it's a peaceful under. place. And a, a tree is nature. It's, it's yeah. God. So you're there. And you connect. Maybe the first day you can't see anything. You ask questions. If you're sick, you ask for spiritual light to heal you, to do self-healing. Right. Who, why can't you do that? No, that's a good point. Uh, like anything else, if you start something, you're not going to be like um, you know a master at it the first no, time. Of course it not. takes. Of course, the not. process. But if you start it, yeah. After weeks or whatever, depending on how much you do it, I mean, when I tell people to protect themselves with spiritual light from their being of light, or the first time we do it together, it's not easy. Mm -hmm. But then they do it three times a day. Today I saw a woman this morning. She has some bad energies, whatever. She was much better, but she's doing it every day, three times a day, protects herself with spiritual light. And so the bad energies just don't come. Yeah. Yeah. Um, often in our society, everyone wants an instant fix. It's a, yeah. That's another problem we have, right? We're yeah. always but constantly. So, but, if, uh, you know, if it <laughs> happens instantly, it's a miracle. Yeah. Oh, does that happen? It's a miracle. That's I not mean, the general process. It's with men, I've seen beautiful miracles happen. Yeah. I think you mentioned that in the book. Was there one with a young young boy or something like that. a young boy there was recently a girl that was a six-year-old girl really traumatized really couldn't speak i mean an energy terrible energy whatever i did the healing and there was a big light like like a sword of light coming into her brain and opening it up the healing finished the mother heard it, saw it and a friend that she had brought in they saw it the girl stopped and came and sat on my lap and hugged me very profoundly. The mother sent a, a, a testimony to my Instagram of she riding a, um, a motor, no, motor, no, those um, things that you pedal. Yeah, like a bicycle. No, the, the ones you pedal when one foot is, uh, uh, how do you call it, whatever. It moped? Mo yeah, one of those things. Uh, there's so many now. It doesn't matter. <laughs> but she would have never been able to do that before the healing. Never. Yeah, so that changed her. That was, I would life. say that that was miraculous. Yeah, because that was instant. It, because it happened instant. Yeah. Uh, in, in, in most of the situations, it's not miraculous. You have, people have to do the work or, or something happened. It happens gradually in different situations. Yeah. But, uh, but so if it happens, it's Beautiful. Instant, it's, Beautiful. It's, it's well, miraculous. just to reiterate the title of the book, um, if, if you want, you can now get it um, as a gift. Um, by contacting Mr. Santa Marina, I see better with my eyes closed. Um, so what so is in Amazon? You can buy it. In Amazon. It's on Amazon too. Yeah. yeah. So you can, you can buy it. All proceeds are donated to the cause. Um, but if you want to 
if you need a healing, folks, um, we'll just repeat the number one more time so you don't have to rewind the episode. <laughs> <laughs> 631-353-8066. 353-8066. Yes, send me a message. Uh, and, like a text and, message? A text message yeah. is the best way because then I, I and, and, and send it with availability of, of, of times and dates. And so then I look at my <laughs> book and put you in my book and we, and we, and we do it. Yeah. And as I said, I don't have a fee. I don't have a fee because I see people from completely different financial backgrounds. The people that can't pay me more than the other ones, whatever. But it works. For me, it works. Yeah, well, you're in the Hamptons. So, you know, if you get one here, it'll, you'll be okay. Yeah. Um, it's been an honor having you back. Uh, we um, we really touched upon a couple of new things. And um, uh, it kind of opens up my vision, too. like to think that there are, you know, everyone here has, like, their, their spiritual being around them. Yes, and you have to connect. It's really, it's just a practice and it works and you'll feel better because you have a soul. Mm -hmm. God gave you a soul. So why is that soul there? Yeah. You have to connect. Absolutely. Does it give you an edge in golf when you play golf? No. <laughs> the funny thing is that people say, do you use your healing for golf? Sometimes I ask, please let this butt go in. <laughs> Part and three. It, and it doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't work. Are you playing in the ball this weekend? No, no. I oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm okay, so it doesn't work on things like no, that. No, 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 no. It doesn't. If not, I would be a scratch golfer. Right. But you would have a, <laughs> most plaques at the Mason Club. No, but it doesn't work like that. Yeah. Well, it's been an honor to have you. Thank you so much for Thank coming. Thank you, Michael, for having me again. And it's been a pleasure. And Come on uh, back again when you are. Uh, whenever you want. Sure. It's just uh, the purpose of all this, Mason, is just to share the message. Yeah. To have people understand that there's so much more. There's this whole spiritual world there that has to become part of your life. So that's the, the whole point of what I do. Excellent. Folks, thank you. That's another episode of Out in the Hamptons. I'm your host, Michael Jeffries, and thanks for joining us. Have a great afternoon here in the Hamptons. Bye, everyone.